Now, from WPTV, this is News Channel 5, first at 4.30. Local coverage you can count on. Fast-breaking developments involving the U.S. and the Chinese dissident who wants to get out of Beijing. The waiting game for the John Goodman judge who could turn the guilty verdict upside down. And more arrests expected at a local high school following a major undercover drug sting. You are waking up to what's brand new today, Friday, May 4th, 2012. And we start with the breaking news involving that blind Chinese dissident at the center of this explosive controversy. Lauren Lapanzina is at the live desk right now with all the fast-moving developments. Good morning, Lauren. John, Roxanne, good morning. A lot to get to with this story. Just within the past hour, the Chinese Foreign Ministry announced that Chen Guangcheng can apply to study abroad. It's the first sign that days of top-secret talks have worked to get the Chinese government to allow him to leave. He says he wants to come to the U.S with his family and leave Beijing today with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton who was expected to meet with reporters at 6.30 a.m. our time. Now just at about 2 this morning, the main Chinese government-run newspaper accused U.S. Ambassador Gary Locke of being a, quote, Starbucks sipping troublemaker. How about that? Now, I'm closely monitoring live TV signals from Beijing. News Channel 5 has learned that CNN had its live signal blocked this morning. As of just a few minutes ago, NBC was able to feed out of China with no problem. But right before we went on the air, the NBC feed was taken down. So. Will we get to see any of this feed uh, coming out of Chinese state TV when Hillary Clinton does address those reporters at 6.30? Too soon to tell. Will she address this matter with uh, Cheng Guang Cheng? We just don't know, but we'll certainly keep monitoring the wires, and I'll bring you the latest here at the live desk. Back to you. It's always going to be a busy morning. It's a sign. Oh, yeah.